In today's video, we will learn exactly what a concussion is, the causes of a concussion, those at risk of a concussion, children concussions, prevention, and when you should see a doctor. What is a concussion? A concussion, otherwise known as a traumatic brain injury, or TBI, can affect many parts of the human brain. Effects are usually temporary, but include headaches and problems with concentration, memory, balance, and coordination. So what exactly causes a concussion? Take a moment and close your eyes. Now imagine your brain as having the same consistency of gelatin. Every day it is cushioned from jolts and bumps by our fluid inside our skull called cerebrospinal fluid. Suddenly you take a violent blow to the head, neck, or upper body, causing your brain to slide back and forth forcefully against the inner walls of your skull. Suddenly acceleration or deceleration of the head caused by events such as a car crash or being violently shaken can cause brain injury. Many of these injuries affect most of your brain functions, usually for a brief period of time resulting in signs and symptoms of a concussion. In rare cases, a concussion can cause you to lose consciousness, but it's rare. Risk factors. There are many activities and factors that may increase your risk of a concussion, such as falling, especially in young children and older adults, participating in high-risk sport, such as football, hockey, soccer, rugby, boxing, or any other contact sport, participating in high-risk sports without proper safety equipment and supervision, being involved in a motor vehicle collision, being involved in a pedestrian or bicycle accident, being a soldier involved in a combat, being a victim of physical abuse. But not to worry, most people usually recover fully after a concussion. Symptoms. Many symptoms of a concussion can be subtle and may not show up immediately. These symptoms can last for days, weeks, or even longer. It all depends on the individual's injury. Common symptoms to be aware of after a traumatic brain injury are headache, loss of memory, and confusion. Many of the physical signs of a concussion may include headache, ringing in the ears, nausea, vomiting, fatigue or feeling drowsy, blurry vision. Other signs of a concussion may include confusion or feeling as if in a fog or dizziness, slurred speech, delayed response to answering questions, dazed appearance, forgetfulness, concentration issues, irritability and other personality changes, sensitivity to light and noise, sleep disturbances, mood swings and depression, taste and smell disorders. You may experience some of these symptoms immediately and some can occur days after the head injury. Child concussions. Unfortunately, head trauma is very common among our young children, but concussions can be difficult to recognize in infants and toddlers because they can't describe how they feel. Oftentimes, you will see these clues in children. Days the parent, tiring easily, irritability, crankiness, loss of balance, and unsteady walking, excessive crying, change in eating or sleeping patterns, lack of interest in favorite toys, vomiting, seizures. If your child doesn't have any signs of a serious head injury and remains alert, moves normally, and responds to you, the injury is probably mild and usually doesn't need further testing. So if your child wants to nap, it's okay to sleep. If worrisome signs develop later, seek emergency care. So always be mindful of the clues because early detection can be a game changer. When to see a doctor. A good recommendation is the same day or within one to two days, the sooner the better. If you or your child experience a head injury, even if emergency care isn't required, still schedule a doctor appointment the following week. Because as we discussed previously, many signs can be subtle at first and appear days, even weeks later. Immediately seek 
emergency care for any adult or child who experienced a head injury and shows signs and symptoms of repeated vomiting or nausea, a loss of consciousness lasting longer than 30 seconds, a headache that gets worse over time, fluid or blood draining from the nose or ear, vision disturbance, ringing in the ears that doesn't go away, weakness in the arms or legs, changes in behavior, confusion, slurred speech, obvious difficulty with mental function or physical coordination, stumbling, seizures or convulsions, reoccurring dizziness, symptoms that worsen over time, large head bumps or bruises on areas other than the forehead in children, especially in infants under 12 months of age. Children and adolescents should be evaluated by a healthcare professional trained in evaluating and managing pediatric concussions. If concussion-related headaches persist for up to seven days after a brain injury, be sure to make another appointment with your doctor. Or these types of symptoms are known as post-concussive symptoms, or PCS, post-concussive syndrome. Around 15% to 20% of people have symptoms including headaches, dizziness, and thinking difficulties that persist beyond three weeks. If these symptoms persist beyond three months, this becomes characterized as persistent post-concussive symptoms or PCS. To learn more about PCS, be sure to check out our video on post-concussive syndrome. Concussion Prevention some tips that can help you prevent or minimize your risk of head injuries include wearing protective gear, doing sports and other recreational activities. Make sure the equipment fits properly, well maintained and is worn correctly. Wear protective headgear when bicycling, motorcycling, snowboarding or engaging in any other recreational activity that may result in a head injury. Wearing a seat belt may prevent serious injury, including head injury, during a traffic accident. Also, while at home or at work, keeping floors free of anything that might cause you to trip and fall. Exercising regularly, because exercise will not just improve brain function, but will strengthen leg muscles and improve balance. And also, educating yourself and children about concussions. Well, that wraps it up for today's episode of Brain Fog. As always, we hope today's video helps you or someone you know on the road to recovery after a concussion. So be sure to like, subscribe, and definitely comment for your support allows us to do our part in helping the millions of people suffering with concussion symptoms. As we post videos every week geared towards helping you navigate the fog after a concussion. So thank you for watching and we love you and always remember the mind is a terrible thing to wait. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you right here on the Brain Fog.